تفضل صاحب السمو الملكي الامير سلمان بن حمد الخليفه ولي العهد نائب القائد الاعلى نائب الاول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله فشمل برعايته الكريمه حفل تخريج طابور الاكاديميه الملكيه ساند هيرس العسكريه رقم 152 والذي اقيم هذا اليوم بمقر الاكاديميه في لندن فلدى وصول سموه حفظه الله كان في الاستقبال امر الاكاديميه الجنرال بول نانسون وفي مستهل الحفل عزفت الفرقه الموسيقيه السلام الملكي البحريني ثم تفضل صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد نائب القائد الاعلى النائب الاول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء بالتفتيش على طابور الخريجين يرافقه امر الاكاديميه بعد ذلك استاذن قائد طابور العرض سموه ببدء الاستعراض العسكري وبعد انتهاء العرض جرت مراسم تسليم واستلام الرايه من الدوره المتخرجه للدوره المستجده بعدها القى صاحب السمو الملكي الامير سلمان بن حمد الخليفه ولي العهد نائب القائد الاعلى النائب الاول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء كلمه بهذه المناسبه
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Royal Highnesses, Commandant, Officer Cadets, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. It is indeed a great honor to stand before you representing Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth at today's Sovereign's Parade. Congratulations to you all. Completing the commissioning course is a great achievement. I know how much hard work today represents, and having been here as a parent, I know also how much your accomplishment means to your families and friends and how proud of you they are. Many of our officers and the Bahrain Defense Force trained at Sandhurst, including my father, His Majesty King Hamad. We are very proud of this long tradition. It underlines the very strong bonds established between us 200 years ago. These long-lasting ties across security, economy, and society are continually strengthened through an active partnership between our two nations. Today marks a vitally important day for you all as you leave Sandhurst and embark on your careers in changing times. You are stepping forward on a path of significant importance as leaders at the front end of new conflicts that offer profound challenges to our modern societies. As military officers and defenders of our nations and our values, you will, you will take on great responsibility. Where you fight, you will fight to secure a greater peace. You will operate in uniquely uh, testing circumstances, often against those pursuing an agenda of hatred, discord, and destruction. And you will not lose your humanity in the face of this challenge. The deep capacity for humanity is a defining characteristic of officers trained at Sandhurst. Even in the most testing of circumstances, it is a vital underpinning of your success. You will make difficult judgments, often with incomplete information. Those judgments will have profound effects on those around you, those you lead, those who are fighting you, and the many civilians who are at risk in modern conflicts. You will remember that you are dealing with human beings with human lives. You will strike hard when you need to, but treat those under your command as well as those under your protection, regardless of race, creed, or color, with consideration and dignity. That responsibility, that leadership, and that judgment will be essential in helping you face and address the threats of today. Increasingly, those, increasingly addressing those threats will involve us fighting asymmetric wars alongside armies of failed and faltering states, fighting terrorist insurgent groups, and fighting micro-constituencies of fanatics and the disenfranchised, for whom religious conflict itself is the primary purpose. By way of example, the ruptures within the modern-day order of the Middle East have created a multitude of uncertain consequences. The breakdown of, of many of the region's state paradigms has served to enhance and magnify the power of warped ideologies. These conflicts and the ideologies they ultimately empower have led to the largest migration crisis in modern times, threatening not only the values but the very social fabric of Europe. The global battle ahead is therefore a clash of pluralism and respect for individual identity versus those who pursue fascist ideologies. Ideologies which are exclusionary, sectarian, and increasingly masked by a religious veneer. We must all come together, showing a firmness of conviction and belief, strengthening bonds of unity and tolerance against the wishes of religious fascists who wish to divide and destroy. But rest assured, you are prepared for the task at hand. Your training is renowned for its excellence, and your directing staff are to be applauded for the strength of training you have received. That training has begun here, but will continue throughout your careers. You will learn from the situations you face. You will learn from the peace you preserve and defend, and also from the peace you will sometimes have to fight to win. But you will also continue to learn, most importantly, from those fighting for you and those fighting alongside you in different uniforms. While they will seek your guidance and expertise, they will also be in a position to guide and teach you in return. The steadfast application of your leadership code, the principles of courage, discipline, respect for others, 
integrity, loyalty, and selfless commitment will be vital. Not only in winning the immediate military battles you will face, but also contributing to the successful conclusion of the ideological war we are in, in which we are all engaged. I wish you all good fortune as you meet your challenges, challenges head on. You have, a, you have highly rewarding careers ahead of you. You have already shown that you are capable of great success. And I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. With, with officers of your caliber operating at the front line, I believe strongly that our chances of securing greater peace in the world can only be enhanced. Thank you.
ثم تفضل سموه حفظه الله بتوزيع الجوائز على الطلبة المتفوقين من خريجي الدفع رقم 152 واختتم الاحتفال بعزف السلام الملكي لمملكة البحرين بعد ذلك التقى سموه مع عدد من الضيوف وطلبة الكلية وتبادل سموه معهم الأحاديث الودية حيث أشاد سموه بالمستوى العالي لخريجي أكاديمية ساند هيرست العسكرية الملكية مشيدا بالبرامج والإمكانات العلمية والتدريبية التي تقدمها الأكاديمية كما هنأ سموه الخريجين شاكرا لهم جهودهم التي توجوها بهذا النجاح متمنيا لهم كل التوفيق والتقدم والجدير بالذكر أن من خريجي هذه الدفعة المرشح ضابط عبد الله حمد الخليفة والمرشح ضابط حمد عيسى الرميحي من مملكة البحرين بالإضافة إلى العديد من الطلبة من مختلف دول العالم والذين قد تلقوا التدريب في مجال القيادة والمهارات العسكرية التي تؤهلهم ليكونوا قادة المستقبل في بلادهم